So here we're looking at leaving cert higher level maths 2014 paper 1 question 3 and we begin with a proof by induction series question. So asked to prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n is equal to n by n plus 1 over 2. So step 1 is proved true for step 1. Step 1 proved true for smallest n. Now in this case, we there is no restrictions. The restriction is that n is natural numbers, so the smallest n is n is equal to one. So where would we be subbing one into here? If we sub one in here, we'd get one, and we stop is equal to one by one plus one all over two. One is equal to one. True. Now, because I know I'm limited on space, I'm going to write the next step over here, although normally I would write down the page. Step two, assume true. For n is equal to k. So you have to write out the series. You have to write out the series. And wherever there's an n, you're replacing it with a k. Is equal to k, k plus 1 all over 2. This is our assumption and then step 3. Now before I go any further I'm going to remind you that this is the first term, second term, third term, kth term. So step 3. Prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus, going to leave a gap, plus k plus 1, is equal to anywhere up here now, where there's an n, I'm subbing in a k plus 1. So k plus 1. And then here, you'd be subbing in k plus 1, and it'd be k plus 1 plus 1, which is k plus 2, all over 2. Now the reason I've left the gap over here is because this is the first term, second term, third term, k plus one-th term. Well, what comes before the k plus one-th term? The kth term. So I can stick in k. And I don't like the dot 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 section over here. And I can notice that this dot 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 is equal to the left hand side here which is actually equal to the right hand side here. So you're getting k by k plus 1 over 2 plus, so that's the yellow section, plus this brown section, k plus 1, is equal to k plus 1, k plus 2 by 2. Multiply everything by 2, uh, so I'd get k by k plus 1, plus 2k plus 1, is equal to k plus 1 by k plus 2. Multiply everything out, k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2, is equal to k squared plus 2k plus k plus 2. And that's k squared plus 3k plus 2 is equal to k squared plus 3k plus 2. Left hand side equals right hand side. Therefore, true for n is equal to k plus 1, you must include this sort of last statement. Assuming true for Assuming true for um, n is equal to k, we know it's true for n is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n is equal to n by n plus 1 over 2 for all n's an element of the natural numbers. How many marks going for that question then? So the marking scheme for question 3 part A is a 10D, and what that means then 
that it is a zero, three, seven, eight, ten question. So here. Okay, nice number of marks going for it, probably fairly fair enough. Okay, so it's saying hence or otherwise prove that the sum of the first n even natural numbers is equal to this. Okay, hence strongly implying that we can uh, use what we've already proven. So let's go, we know for a fact that this is true. And we know for a fact that's true. If we were to put a bracket around both sides and multiply both sides by two, what would you end up with? You'd get two plus four plus six plus two n is equal to n by n plus one. So the twos cancel over here. And then multiply that out. Two plus four plus six plus that, that, that plus 2n is equal to n squared plus n. And that's QED. That's the question done. That's it proved. And that was a 10 mark question as well. The marking scheme was a 10D for it. And what a 10D implies that it's 0, 3, 7, 8, 10 going for that. I think it's like 10 marks for three lines. It's very generous. So looking at the third part of the question then, this is where the question gets a little bit strange. Um, we say we have the first, the first two n natural numbers. Okay. Now, what does the sum of the first two n natural numbers look like? Well, this was the sum of the first n natural numbers. So the sum of the first two n natural numbers would be that with 2n subbed in. So this would be 2n by 2n plus 1 all over 2. And if we take away the even natural numbers, well, what were the even natural numbers? The first n even numbers, which is n squared plus n. If we take those two numbers away from each other, we would only be left with the odd numbers. So go 2n by 2n plus 1 all over 2 minus n squared plus n. The 2 and the 2 cancel. n gets multiplied in, so we have 2n squared plus n minus all of this. Now, I should have had a bracket around that because we're subtracting the whole thing. So it's a minus the n squared minus n. What do we get left with is just n squared. Okay, that is what you'd get if you had the first n odd numbers. Okay, the sum of the first n odd numbers or natural numbers sum to n squared. To be honest, that last part, this question, this C, to me is a little bit of a strange question following on from the first two. If I were you, I'd focus on the understanding of the first two parts of the question particularly the proof by induction part, because it's a very uh, common and popular question.